Braintree's forthright owner, Mrs. Mirabel Topham, almost on the eve of the Grand National, took time out from supervising course arrangements to drop a bombshell right in the lap of the racing world. Something affecting those parts of it even a long way from Beecher's and the Canal Turn. To the bookmaking fraternity, Mirabel gave an ultimatum. £500 a day or no blower telephone service with their offices away from the course. In his West End headquarters, imperturbable as always, the well-known Mr. William Hill looked a long way from panic. The blower service's refusal to pay the excessive demands made by Mrs. Toppen will not affect the racing public in any way. The small bookmaker will lay off his liabilities with larger office bookmakers. And the fact that there's a very strong market at Aintree leaves little cause for anxiety. To the nerve centre of the biggest bookmaking organisation in the world are phoned bets from all over the country. The annual turnover runs into several millions. If heard by a non-racegoer, some of the transactions might sound like Chinese. Like all bookmakers, Hills phone the blower organisation for up-to-the-minute news. For the blower office, filmed exclusively by Pathé News, gives a comprehensive information service. Smaller bookmakers would be hard-pressed to do without it. In contact with the office is the blower representative on the course. Instructions transmitted place bets in a matter of seconds. If it's big money, down comes the starting price. Also, all useful information is sent back to the blower office. If every race course followed Mrs. Topham's lead and raised the charge to the blower, bookies using the service would either have to pay more or rub along somehow without it. With the flat racing season just starting, the parties need to come to terms. Thank you.